Hello once again, this is Wildgate and we're back. This time with The Mystery Experiences Company presents Beast in the Woods. You said we're gonna film another one. So, uh, the Mystery Experiences Company presents what this week? The Beast in the Woods. The Beast? All right, what kind of beast? That's what we're supposed to find out. All right, what do you want to talk about first? I want to talk about the new box. Oh my, uh, the box? Yes, the box, so the box is different. First of all, you have oh, this beautiful illustration. Yeah, there's okay. There's there is it is more colorful and nice, but uh, Freak Show had the thing too. Right, but what Freak Show did not have is that the box has a mystery to solve to help you with the mystery in the box. Oh, so the box itself has clues and is part of the mystery this time. Exactly. So it's that's what I'm talking about. That's what they need to do. All right, so let's open it up. <laughs> All right, so let's pick it up. What, what do we got in there? Let's open up and see. So first I see is a letter from Christopher Forrest himself. He's the owner of Christopher's Curiosities. Christopher Curiosities. That's that weird shop in Forest City that has all that creepy stuff. Correct. So let's see what he says. It says, you now hold in your hands a mystery nearly 150 years old. The contents of the box is now in your possession, were discovered by me among the remains of a family estate I purchased sight unseen. So Ooh. Looks like he has some new curiosities and he needs our help to solve the mystery that has to go with it. Oh. Christmas bell. Oh, baby rattle. A baby rattle. And a bag that has something inside that I'm not going to Don't, don't, don't show. Not going to show. A bag with something. The card. The card. What's the picture on the card? A, looks like a old tree. Mm, creepy tree creepy. beast. Okay. For our samples. For uh, 1868. Uh, it's a werewolf. It, it could be. We have to I'm stop starting it. a howling. Everybody. Uh, contagious it is some old button yeah i eat buttons all the time i'm a button beast your button beast nom, nom, nom. it looks like photographs from 1870 oh old stuff there's words on the back of the photographs of course and it looks like a lot of the known families throughout the history of Forest City. Mm. Puzzle cards. Ain't a mystery without some good puzzles. A page from Claire Usher's diary. The Usher family is one of the first families of Forest City. Ooh, the House of Usher. Mmm. It looks like someone's journal. This reminds me. You're so nosy. I am nosy, and it actually reminds me of Bones of Angels, where you had to use the journal to help solve the mystery. And I really like that part of Bones and Angels, mm. so that's really cool. Awesome. And then some documents. Yay, paperwork! Let's get to filing. Oh, Edgar Allan Poe. What the hell? What? Apparently, it's a letter from Edgar Allan Poe to one of the families that are the lawyers. Ooh, men of mystery. More old paperwork. This looks like it's actually an old map of Forest City from 1870. Ooh. I like that. I used to live right there. Right there in the harbor? Yeah, sure. So there's a lot of locations it looks like we're going to go to. Awesome. And then this is the Forest City, 1870. So the harbor and Forest City itself. Yay! The harbor was huge. Yeah, well, you know, I got a big boat. You got a big boat? 
Yeah. And our newspaper this time is actually a newspaper from 1870. December 3rd, 1870. Well, I'm not housebroken. I'm gonna need that newspaper. No, sir. Mm. This is what I read every morning. Sure. Have coffee. Mm. We'll have some death notices and marriage notices. A year of a review. I bet you there's more death notices than marriage notices. Actually, yes, there is. Yeah. Because, you know, lots of people die in Fort City. All right, what else we got? That looks like it. All right, that has a lot of stuff. It does have a lot of stuff. I like the photos. I think they You look always cool. like the photos. You always like the photos. Look how nice those look. Alright, so I'm going to lock you in the tower and you're going to figure this out. What? Alright, I'll give you a room. Okay, thank you. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Anything else? What do you want to say? I just want to say, instead of just reading a mystery, be a part of a mystery. Okay. I'm looking forward to this one, so mm. let's go solve. You want to solve it with me? Yes. Random howling. Bye. Wait. I mean, hey, hey, wait a second. Yeah? Um, why did Christopher send you this? You're dead. I'm not dead, I'm right here. Your character is dead. Look at the pouty face. <laughs> the beast in the woods. As always, thanks to the Mystery Experiences Company, and like, comment, and subscribe. This was Wildgate, and we'll see you next time. Game on.